Welcome to the tutorial video from Scotch AGS about CAT4, an international online cognitive ability test. In this video, you will learn about how CAT4 works and familiarize yourself with the test to get well prepared for the test day. First, we will find out what CAT4 is. CAT4 is not a test of learnt knowledge. In CAT4, students carry out a number of tasks that help them think about words, verbal reasoning, numbers, quantitative reasoning, shapes, nonverbal reasoning, and shapes in space, spatial ability. So, what are the benefits of CAT4? CAT4 results help students and teachers understand how a student learns and what their academic potential might be. CAT4 provides individual profiles of a student's strengths and areas for development, helping teachers understand the level of support different students may need. It provides reliable indicators for international examinations such as Key Stage 2, GCSEs, A-Levels, IB, DP, and helps students to set targets for future attainment. Next, let's learn how to prepare for CAT4. Before taking the CAT4 test, it's important that you learn to understand the test structure. CAT4 is an online test consisting of eight short tests divided into three parts, with a total length of around 90 minutes. Now, we will go through each part. Part 1 combines two short tests. The first test is figure classification. You will identify the conceptual link all three figures have in common, and then select one figure that goes with the first three. The second test is figure matrices. You will work out how the first pair of figures is related to each other, and then select one figure that completes the second pair. Part 2 consists of three short tests. The first test is verbal classification. You will identify the conceptual link between the three words and then select one answer which best fits the first three. The second test is verbal analogies. You will work out how the first pair of words is related to each other and then select one answer that completes the second pair. The third test is number analogies. You will work out how the pair of numbers are related and then select one answer to complete the third pair. Part 3 includes three short tests. The first test is number series. You will work out the rule underlying the progression in the number series, and then select the next number in the series. The second test is figure analysis. You will work out what the final product would look like when unfolded. The last test is figure recognition. You will identify which of the five designs contains the exact same outline of the target, including each side in full. Now that you are ready for the test, let's have a look at how to take CAT4 step by step. Step 1. You will access the test via testingforschools.com. You need to type in your access code given at the beginning, then click login. Step 2. After logging onto the platform, the three parts of the test will be shown on the screen. Click the Start Test button to start part 1. Step 3. Before taking the real test, some examples will be shown and you will have time to read those instructions and practice answering some questions. Step 4. After going through examples, read the instructions again, and once you're ready, click the Start Test button. The test has now been timed. During the test, you can always check your work by clicking the Back button or using the numbers presented. Step 5. When you have answered all the questions, you can check your answers by clicking the Back button if you have time. Then. You must wait until all the time allowed for this section has run out before you are forwarded to the next section. Remember not to exit the platform midway through part of one of the tests, or your data will be lost. Step 6. When all parts of the test have been completed, click your name, and then click log out to finish. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.